But how do you guys feel? That's some next level thinking right there. Goes to EU so you can compete at Twitch Rivals EU. Playlist. Uh, my playlist is on a website called pretzel.rocks. It is non copyrighted music for streamers specifically to listen to. So if you go there and you listen to their rock station, that is this. This is all copyright free music. fucking shit on here and I can't help that. Like, this is the shit I'm talking about. You can't be eating this kind of harass as an ADC. Not if you want to win lane, because now if I look to engage, he's just gonna die. Just who knows if he's gonna press his heal soon enough. Like, it's just, there's so much that could go wrong at this point. chase her because he'll probably die and I don't know where Eve is. My goal right now, I want to get enough gold so that I can get my coin upgrade and healing reduction. I will go the world from the bottom and I'm pretty sure I've got it right now. Oh, I think I had it anyway. I'm probably 100 gold over.
Yeah, so I could have gotten movies instead, but healing reduction I think is going to be bigger for us. Also, guys, this is... I need to do introductions to these uh, lanes again. This is Pike Illusion. Uh, as always, that I always say in this sort of scenario, anytime you're against two ranged champions at level one, your one goal is to not get poked out of level one. Pike is very strong level two, same with Illusion. But you cannot get poked out level one. If you get poked to half level one, it is going to be very, very difficult for you to be able to do anything. So right there, we know Caitlyn doesn't have Flash, right? So we can go for that uh, that QE play. We know she's going to try to net back to avoid the stun. So I just drew the E back down. Yes, healing reduction versus Soraka is a must-buy. It's a must-buy. Yeah, double big cheeseburger. I want to. I want to leave you guys with the uh, like the basic introduction to the lane, and then I want it to be so you guys can just watch me try to uh, perform that the way that I can or should. So Pike against Soraka, it's hard to go on Soraka unless you waste her E, right? So if she's using her E for harass. You can trade on Soraka pretty easily because she's not going to have her silence to stop your hook charge. Um, if she's not using it, you still want to try to engage. It can be difficult, but if you W forward and use like a half channel on your Q, like don't, ch don't charge it full all the way, she will silence and interrupt. A half channel you can usually cast. Like right there, she fucked up and she used that. Alright. There's no silence to interrupt us. If we push this quickly, we can get in. No, oh, she's already gone. <laughs> Long fucking gone. But you see what I mean? Like, without the silence, it makes the matchup so much easier. Because if she interrupts my Q, we can't do shit. Lose second pink. We can have plates. I've got three kills. Should be able to get more, one more with my Demolish. So right here, this is where we go, Bobies. Let's see if we can get a roam off here. I don't think anything's gonna happen mid. She's out of mana, she needs to go back. There's an Eve here. Very nice.
I can sell the south spot here and I can get uh, lethality now. We're gonna roam again. Lucian's recalling right now. There's no reason to go bot. And Tournament is actually winning, I believe, a counter matchup. Alright, so I'm gonna rush bottom while I have my ulti up and see if I can make a play with this. They do not have flashes down. Well, Soraka might, but uh, Caitlyn doesn't. Right. according to plan this is the dream right the flawless game here I'm gonna tarp yeah we don't want to stay here right now Yeah, Soraka is the one rooting this lane for them. She cannot waste her E like that. She cannot. And if she does, Caitlyn should not be playing forward during it. Game's been ruined. We're kind of trolling now. We're pushing too hard in one lane. So anytime, like, if you guys win a game this heavily this early, you need to rotate and take other towers. Don't just continue trying to push their base. Also, resetting and buying items is 
massively important. Read Alpha, thanks for the follow, man. And it's Pereira, welcome. Yeah, see what I mean about the overstays? We do have Trinimer's top, and he is taking in him here. But over pushing in one lane is not optimal for us. Let's see if I can help him kill everybody. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I entered. That was pretty unlucky. You're from Missouri? Me too, man. What part? Man, I almost died.
<laughs> I'm too fucking low. There's wards everywhere. Alright, GG's. Good game. Jamal Big Beans. Ooh. Yeah. Oh man. I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true. But the